I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. The Canadian economy was doing quite well in the second quarter of the year. Data points in from StatsCan today showed an annualized growth rate of 3.7 percent. That was a lot better than forecast. Having said that, the underlying data on the GDP was a little bit weaker than expected. And economists are thinking that next week when the Bank of Canada sets interest rates, they're going to be very cautious on the growth figures and forecasts for the remainder of this year. Business investment in the second quarter, for example, dropped by 16 percent, biggest decline since 2016. All of this offset by a rise in exports and basically a rebound from the prior quarters, which were uh, very weak to say the least. Benjamin Reitzis is the Canada Rates and Macro Strategist at BMO Capital Markets and figures the Bank of Canada is going to sound cautious next week. If you look at the details of the, the quarterly report, all of the growth was driven by exports. Uh, the domestic economy was quite soft in the quarter, and that's really where interest rates have an impact. And if you look at the global backdrop, you're just not going to have that type of export performance on a consistent basis. And so it comes after two very weak quarters. So you have to keep everything in mind in broader context and not just focus on uh, the, the one number today. Bank of Canada sets interest rate policy on Wednesday. Well, Hurricane Dorian, a massive storm heading toward Florida, could cause major problems for the state's agricultural sector. Sixty percent of the Florida orange juice crop could be affected by that storm. We saw orange juice futures contracts today in Chicago spike in anticipation of severe damage. And this is an industry that was just rebuilding after previous hurricanes and also a, a fungal infection on many of the trees that uh, damaged much of previous crops. We'll be tracking that over the course of the weekend. Financial markets ending what was an extremely volatile month of August, pretty much back to where they started the month. We saw a late rebound over the past week on the expectations of what we could see next month on the U.S.-China trade file, with China saying it will not be responding, at least not immediately, to new tariffs that are set to take effect on Sunday on various Chinese exports from the Trump administration and the worries about escalating trade battles and the impact that could have on the economy did send markets sort of all over the map for August. September, interestingly enough, is traditionally the most volatile month of the year, with everybody getting back to work after the summer holidays. And the price for gas coming down, coming into the long weekend. The forecast from NPRO that uh, the price in the GTA will settle by a penny to $1.17.9 at the peak price. Shop around, you can find it for much below that. Uh, prior to today, we have seen a little bit of an increase in the price for gas, but still much below where it was this time a year ago. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.